everyone, it's Miss Nicole, the children's librarian at the Cicero Library, and I'm here today with another batch of home-cooked art. That's art you can make with stuff from your kitchen. Uh, today, I'm going to show you two ways that you can use old coffee grounds to make art. We drink a lot of coffee at my house, and we go through a lot of coffee grounds. Um, and we compost them normally, but we were going through so much of them, especially with the kids' home, <laughs> that I thought, man, I'm sure there's some ways that I can use this to do something artistic. Um, so I came across a number of different ideas, but these two are my favorite. Um, the first project is super simple. You really need paper. Um, some kind of marker or crayon or what have you if you want to draw more of the scene. You'll need some glue to uh, stick your coffee grounds to the paper and then you of course need coffee grounds. I think this is only like two weeks worth of coffee at my house so um, it won't take you too long and you really don't need all this much um, to do this project. So. Um, Basically what you're going to do is draw your picture and then add coffee to it. Now the coffee grounds have a texture that definitely looks like dirt. So if you want to do like a nature scene or um, a construction scene, it works really well for that. Um, I had this funny idea to try and recreate um, those Wooly Willy toys. You know, the ones that have the face and the magnet and the iron filings that you can use to make, you know, funny hairstyles and facial hairstyles. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with my coffee today. Okay, so here I have my paper. I'm going to draw a kind of a funny but bland face on it. Um, I'm sorry, I can't draw upside down, so I'll have to draw it and then flip it around for you. So here's... This head and this chin. There we go. Two eyes. A nose. A mouth. Couple ears. Okay. So here we go. You can see him right there. Okay, so <laughs> you can see he has no hair or facial hair um, because I'm going to add that with the coffee. Well, and the glue too. So let's see. I think I would like to give him a mustache and a goatee and a mohawk. So I'm going to add, you can use quite a bit of glue here, a mustache. Kind of a long one, maybe curly, and oh dear. Watch where you get the glue because wherever you put the glue, the coffee grounds are going to stick to it. So a little, little goatee, and then a mohawk. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. I'm using quite a bit of glue. It's going to be kind of messy. So. All right, so I'm not going to pick this up because the glue is going to run everywhere, but hopefully you can see it. And then I've got my coffee grounds here. This part is going to be pretty messy, not going to lie. All you're going to do is scoop up the coffee grounds with your hand. Sprinkle it all over. And hopefully if I do this right, it's going to stick to the glue. And we'll see what our results are. Alright, so got coffee grounds covering all um, all of that glue. We'll see. Now, just like when we did salt paintings, I'm going to take a big bowl and shake off the extra. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> pretty messy, but pretty funny. 
You could also uh, wait until it dries. But there you go. There's, there's my version of Wooly Wooly. Um, you could wait until it dries. I think that would be less messy, but this is just funny. Um, you could also use dry coffee grounds for this and it would be a little less messy than this just was. Um, but I don't know, damp coffee grounds are really fun to play with too. So, uh, I, I would recommend experimenting either way. So that's one way you can make art with coffee grounds. You can just add glue to whatever picture you have and then add coffee grounds to it however you would like. Okay, so the other idea I came across for using up old coffee grounds is to use them to make salt dough. Now you may have played with salt dough before. It's um, kind of a homemade play-doh that will dry out just like air dry clay. And if you do it right, <laughs> doesn't mold or go bad. Um, so you can make like Christmas tree ornaments or um, shell castings or all kinds of stuff with it. Um, I wanted to try making it with coffee grounds because I had them around but also because I thought the texture and the smell would be really interesting um, to play with. So, to make coffee grounds salt dough, you need flour. So I have one cup of flour. Okay. You need one cup of old coffee grounds, used coffee grounds. They don't have to be super old or anything. Just used, already brewed. Don't use fresh coffee for this. Please, brew it and drink it. Okay, so one cup of flour, one cup of coffee grounds, one half cup of salt. Any kind of salt you have should work. Um, if you have kosher salt, it'll be a little chunkier texture, but really it should work just fine. So mix that all together. Looks pretty powdery. Smells like coffee. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Just chopping up the lumps here. Okay, now this isn't sticking together, so we need some water. The key with this is not to add too much water because you don't want it to be super sticky. You want to be able to um, handle it without it sticking to your hands too much or the table or the rolling pin too much. Um, so I have about a third cup of water, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm just going to dump in a little bit. You can add it one or two tablespoons at a time. I like to live dangerously, so I'm not measuring out the tablespoons. I'm just adding a little bit and mixing it around. Yep, definitely need more because you need it to stick together. So, there we go. A little more. And the amount that you need to add will vary depending on, um, depending on how much water your coffee grounds already have in them and how dry your flour is and all that good stuff. But as I'm mixing it with my hands, you can see that it's starting to sort of stick together, so I don't need too, too much more water. Highly recommend mixing with your hands um, when you have the chance because it really gives you a much better idea of what texture you've got um, and whether it's too sticky or too dry and such. So this looks about right. I'll say I use most of that third cup of water to make things stick together, but you know, if it gets too sticky, don't panic. You can always add just a little more flour to help it stick together better. So this is definitely coarser than your regular salt dough because we tend to drink French press coffee at my house, so the Coffee grounds are quite coarse. Your coffee might be less so, but let me get it out of the bowl and you can see. All right, 
So this will show you what the um, coffee dough looks like up close. It's a bit sticky, but not too sticky. It's not really sticking to my hands too much. It smells really nice. It's very coarse. Um, and then you can, of course, get out your rolling pin and roll it out and cut shapes with it if you'd like. You know, uh, use stamps or anything else you might want to press into it. Um, but it's really, it's really great to work with. It feels really nice um, and it will dry hard. So, you know, if you make something you really want to keep, you know, let it dry out. Uh, you can also paint it if you want, but I kind of like how it looks. It looks kind of like rocks, natural rock or sandstone. Yeah, so there you have it. Two ways of using coffee grounds to make art. Uh, if you happen to do one of these projects and you like the result, please do share it with us below in the comments. Um, check out our website, that's nopl.org, for more great activities, and I'll see you next time with another batch of home-cooked art. Have a great week!